Hello there, it's Diorama Don here. Welcome everybody. Um, again, a different idea on a take of uh, broken buildings. Uh, I've done umpteen <laughs> videos now with uh, broken buildings, uh, all with pieces of door, window, half a roof. Um, but if you look at photographs of uh, this time in uh, Northern Europe especially, uh, there were desolate streets where there was absolutely nothing left, just like the uh, the footings, if you like, of, of buildings, everything completely demolished. So uh, this is just a take on that, that's all. Uh, just a different idea. So uh, we'll get on with the video and I'll show you how I went about making it. Um, please subscribe to the channel in the meantime and uh, all will be well. So let's get on with the video. So the easiest diorama to make. Uh, I've made the base already. Uh, this is going to be the road going through the village with uh, the bombed houses either side. Um, I've cut shapes into the cardboard. Um, I've used one millimeter cardboard uh, for this. Cut out the shapes of the uh, bomb craters in the road and put some uh, polystyrene <clears throat> polystyrene underneath and then just picked out to make uh, make the bomb craters okay so definitely easy enough so we need the, the remains of uh, the houses either side uh, we don't want any doors or windows or roofs or chimneys anything just the, the remains of the the, the building uh, so I've got a piece of cardboard. This is going to be uh, along the back. This is going to be what was the back wall of the house. Uh, so I've marked out where the houses are. There are three houses. So there will be three uh, gaps where front doors were. Uh, and then each section is, is uh, five inches wide. And I've cut out the uh, the broken brick at the back there. So with this piece, I've cut it out. So that's going to be the shape of the broken wall at the back of the house. So I put that onto another piece of card, draw around the same shape. So I've got two pieces like this and then stick it to a piece of polystyrene. So I've got that on the front and that on the back. So it will look like that. So all it is is just cardboard stuck onto polystyrene, cardboard both sides just to give it a bit more uh, strength, stableness. And that's going to be along the back. Then I can put using the same method with these pieces. So again, uh, polystyrene between the two pieces and I can make up uh, this dividing walls and then a, a room divider and then the very front of the houses with the uh, the gap for the door. So all you will see is just the the, uh, the, the bottom probably one or one and a half meters of, uh, of the brick remaining on the houses. <laughs> if you're with me. Uh, you'll see exactly what I mean when I finish it off. So with these pieces of card that I've already cut out, I can cut the shape like this, any old shape, uh, put them, make, make a, a polystyrene sandwich of them and then put them uh, in their place. Okay, I think that's uh, as clear as I can uh, explain it. So I'll go ahead and do it anyway and then uh, you'll you'll see exactly what I mean. So I'll be back in just one moment. So <clears throat> I finished making my polystyrene and cardboard sandwiches and uh, placed them all as walls or what's left of the walls on both sides of the road of the village. Um, then I gave it a coat of watered down wall filler. So now everything is quite quite hard to the touch. There's no no soft polystyrene or remnants of cardboard or anything. 
so it's a good base now for for finishing so for the road well for, for all of it I shall use this grey grout grey tile grout uh, <coughs> could do with a little bit more water in actually and, and just cover the whole area with this this will uh, do for the road and the walls of the, the houses. I would normally put a, um, a cobbled street in, but I've got two uh, Sherman tanks going along the road there, and you won't see the road, so I can't see the point of going to the trouble of making a cobbled road when you're not going to see it. So that's like that, and then with a damp sponge, I can highlight the uh, the bomb craters in the road. I think. <laughs> well, oh, it's there. <laughs> The lighting's so bad, I'll cover that in again. <laughs> I was dabbing in the wrong place. <laughs> Nothing worse than dabbing in the wrong place. Uh, anyway, you get the idea. By the time this is dry, <laughs> it will look road-like. You must believe me. Uh, it may not at the moment, and it may look a bit of a mess, but I'll do the whole thing. Uh, cover the whole area in this grey grout uh, and then we'll come back and do the broken bricks. So my grey grout has dried now uh, that gives me a decent enough effect of the of the walls. Uh, now I want the, the broken brick on where the walls have been blasted away. Uh, I've finished this side, done this side and all I do is take the uh, the bricks that I make um, for my dioramas. You may have seen other uh, previous videos where I make the bricks. Uh, just crush them up with a hammer, just bash them up into small pieces and then uh, just lay them on a bed of PVA glue. I'll just do a little bit. I mean it's, it's <laughs> pretty obvious really um, but I'll do it anyway. And then just sprinkle, sprinkle that over, and that's all. Then turn it upside down to get rid of the the other mess. Um, I I did this side twice, so I did that, let it dry, and then went over it again. So it gives a really good covering of broken brick. Uh, so that's all I need to do. Um, I'll finish this side off. Uh, put a bit more. Uh, ground cover with the uh, debris as well uh, yeah finish it off and we'll come back and see what the finished thing looks like so I finished off the broken bricks on this side as well uh, utilized a couple of telegraph poles that I made in previous videos uh, and that's it uh, a very simple uh, but effective way of uh, showing you military vehicles again just an idea uh, so there we are one completed desolate street uh, so thank you very much again for watching this video uh, I'd appreciate your subscribing to the channel uh, that would be very helpful so please subscribe click the uh, notification bell and um, the all button and you will be notified when new videos come along, of which there are many, uh, more than 250, I think, at the moment. Uh, just all uh, ideas for I dioramas, for you to uh, take the idea away and, uh, and make your own version. OK, so I'll leave it with you. Thank you very much for watching. Um, I'll see you in the next video. And until then, I wish you the very best of happy modeling.